It started off peacefully enough, and then canisters of tear gas rained down on protesters. All this because a Russian politician visited the parliament in Tbilisi and gave a speech. The lawmaker supports the independence of two breakaway regions in Georgia. In response, protesters swarmed the parliament, demanding the government's resignation. Russia and Georgia have a testy relationship, and they have not had diplomatic ties in over 10 years. This everything has happened because government has invited Russian MP who is against Georgia, who has voted of the independence of our breakaway regions. He's, uh, he, he hates everything what is Georgian. We ask government not to allow this guy to come here, but they have allowed and not, not, not only allowed to, to, to cross the Georgian border, but to sit in the chair of the president of the parliament. The tear gas did not deter the protesters, so police turned to rubber bullets. The crowd repeatedly surged, attempting to break into the building, but were turned back. The Georgian prime minister accused the opposition party of, quote, provoking the riots. What has been described as a spontaneous protest by ordinary Georgians quickly descended into a night of violence. Okay, let's get the view on this uh, from Russia. Um, and we're joined now by our DW correspondent, Emily Sherwin in Moscow. Emily, how has uh, Russia been reacting to last night's protests, the anti-Russian protests in the Georgian capital? Well, we haven't heard a reaction from the Kremlin yet, but there has been a reaction from the foreign ministry. Um, this incident with the lawmaker happened during um, the Interparliamentary Orthodox Assembly, as it's called, which is a meeting between uh, Orthodox uh, parliamentarians from different countries. And the foreign ministry said that it's a shame that a forum that is supposed to unite people um, is now being used to express anti-Russian sentiment. And they also accused um, the Georgian opposition uh, of trying to um, stop ties between Russia and Georgia improving. Okay, now, when Russians look at what happened on the streets of Tbilisi, the video we had in our last report, uh, what do they see as, as fueling this level of public anger directed at a representative of Russia? Well, I think whether you ask people uh, in Russia or whether you ask people in Georgia, uh, the reason is pretty easy to um, track down, and that's the fact that uh, Georgia and Russia fought a short war in August 2008 um, over the breakaway regions of Abkhazia um, and South Ossetia. Now, I was actually um, on the administrative boundary line, the de facto border um, to South Ossetia um, about a year ago. Um, 10 years after that war, and the, the anger and the tensions there are still very much real. People in Georgia see Russia as an occupying force. Um, Russia, on the other hand, has recognized those breakaway regions as independent. There are troops stationed um, on that de facto uh, border. Um, and those, those tensions and that anger, you can really sense that um, throughout Georgia and not just um, on the de facto border. So I think what we're seeing there is that anger. Um, at, George, at Russia, excuse me, um, kind of pouring out onto the streets. Okay, Emily, thanks so much uh, for that update. Uh, and the view from Moscow as to what's been happening in Tbilisi. Thanks so very much.